We've seen a couple of different types of caching so far. On the home page, uh, we have one that's in memory. So as soon as I reload this, see, look, I've got this going. I click back, and all this stuff is in memory. As soon as I reload, though, the browser clears out all of that JavaScript memory. And so now I get a different list in here. So that dies with, um, with the tab or the window. And then over on the movie page, uh, we have done some cache control with HTTP. Uh, so this both will cache in the browser for this user, uh, as well as um, other users, as long as our CDN is configured correctly, other users who are visiting this for a public cache, then they can also share that cache. Now we're gonna do something that's kind of like both of these, and I'm going to store it in the browser, but in a more persistent uh, place. So the browser has a couple of APIs for this, local storage, index DB, I guess cookies as well. Um, but I am going to use uh, something called local forage, which is a pretty cool little library that um, makes it really easy to work with index DB. And, and if that's not available, then it'll fall back to um, local storage. Uh, so what this will do is that it's a, it, it lets it, it's, we can think of it like a cache where we're going to manage it. This HTTP cache, once we say max age 36, uh, 100, it's, it's kind of hard to like invalidate this. Uh, you can do stuff with the very header and you can like mess around with cookies to like invalidate it. But uh, that, gets, that gets super tricky. It's riddled with a lot of problems. And so sometimes you just want to like take charge of the cache. And so, uh, and, there, and if you've been doing React, you, <laughs> you might not know it, but you've been doing this the whole time. Uh, if you've been using any state management library like Redux or Zoo Stand or whatever, all those things, uh, those are essential, essentially the caches that you're managing yourself. Um, and then, uh, yeah, in this case, and I mean, just React State, like just managing stuff in React State, you're managing a cache. Set state, put something in the cache, um, uh, and then set state expires <laughs> the old stuff that was in there as well. So uh, what we're going to do here is take control of this cache, but it's going to be a little bit different than the index page where this one is just in memory and it dies with the tab. We're going to, um, uh, we're, we're going to put it into indexed DB, which is a, a built-in browser feature. So again, we're going to use client loader for this. So I'm going to say export async function client loader. I'm going to get the params in here. Uh, and then I want the server loader as well. And uh, just to start simple, um, well, no, let's find it. Let's, okay, so I'm gonna say cached. Oh yeah, cache key, that's a good idea. So I'm gonna make a cache key first and do movie-params ID. So whatever, whatever the param is coming in up here when I click on this, the killer insight. Uh, up here, that's the param ID. So I'm gonna make a key so that I can look that up later. And then uh, let's get cache. Oh yeah, this thing knows exactly what I want. Local forage, get item, the cache key. If it's there, if cached, return cached. Beautiful. Otherwise, let's go to the server to do this. So we're going to, man, Copilot sometimes just blows me away. So if I got my loader data, I'm gonna await the server loader. And uh, now, I'm not deferring or anything up here, so I can just I can just take this wholesale. So it looks like I've got it on a key called movie. So I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to say movie, and then I will say, uh, yep, local forge set item cache key. I don't need to await that actually. I'm just going to shove it in there, and I'll just put the movie itself, and then I will return movie. Um, so I need to keep the same shape up here. Like I said in an earlier video, you start doing client loader and all these types need to like be close together and, well, not close, they gotta, they gotta look the same for your loader to be able to do the right thing. Cause we're basically just saying, hey loader, give me the movie. And it's like, might've come from local forage, uh, index DB might've come from the server. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's save this, and the difference should be that we no longer see a uh, request. So this is, this is running the old code. So if I come to the network, 
tab and I click on Fool's Parade, we should see, oh man, I'm on slow 3G. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there we see this request for the data um, to go get the data for this movie. So now when I click back and then I click forward again, we still make the request, but from last video, it's coming from the disk cache. That's because our, our HTTP server said, hey, I want you to cache this. Uh, but that cache can be kind of difficult to manage and expire and control and things like that. In these videos, we're not getting into actions, but that's where that expiration would happen. We'd expire these things in actions. Uh, I'll be making other videos for that. Um, yeah, so now with my new code, let's reload this. And if I click on something wrong with the children, I guess I've seen that one. 40,000 movies, and I've already clicked on this one. That's cool. All right, so I, I'm going to make this a little, oh, whatever. So this thing called love. <laughs> Look at that mustache. Look at that. All right, so this made a request the first time. Now if I click back and then click forward, we shouldn't see a network request. It should just... Yeah! That's cool. So where is it actually? What the heck is this local forage thing doing? Uh, if you come into the application tab, this is where you can find all sorts of things. Here, let me, let me move this down and be able to see it all better. Under the application tab, bunch of things. You got local storage, you got session storage, index DB, web SQL, Cookies, private state tokens, I haven't even, I've never used it. Interest groups, I don't know what that is. Shared storage, I don't know what that is. Cash storage, I think I learn more. What's this? View cache data, interesting. Um, I'm gonna go read about all of these. I'm gonna go read the specs in the evening. Uh, anyway, this is where, so local forage made an index DB and inside of here, it's got like all this stuff, key value pairs, local forge. Yeah, check that out. I've got some other stuff going on here. Um, but look at this movie 14616. There it is. So it's just sitting there in index DB on this key. And if I go to another one, let's say Gunfighters of Abilene. Ooh, 1960. Cowboy movie. My grandpa would have loved it. Um, come back and forward. Well, maybe, maybe their cache didn't get invalidated. Let's, uh, let's open it up again. There it is. <laughs> Spe speaking of cache invalidation being hard. <laughs> um, anyway, so now we've got both of those keys in here. Uh, what's interesting, too, is uh, if I come here and do a full document reload, right, I'm coming back to the whole page, these are still in local So This is where I'm saying it's, it's more persistent than the home page. The home page, it was just memory, so it doesn't survive a refresh. Um, but sticking it in local forage, now it's persistent with, uh, with this browser. So that is a, uh, a, a, way to, a way to cache stuff. Once again, Client Loader opens up a lot of cool things. You can cache things locally, wherever you want, in memory, index DB, and now you've got more control uh, than something like cache control, which is just for the whole request and hard to expire. Uh, now you've got client loader that allows you to put this anywhere. I mean, you can bring in some of those state management libraries too. There's, um, a lot of them have APIs that don't require the React hooks like, uh, like TanStack query. Uh, that's got, a, I don't know what to call it, a static API, a singleton API, uh, but uh, I guess a non-rendering API. So you can access the cache um, without needing to uh, be in the render lifecycle because these are not in the render lifecycle. All right, that's it for persistent managed caches with Client Loader.